Let's go to Bill Guilford. Georgia and Michigan don't currently play a ranked team until 11-11. So we got a while. <laughs> well, USC, Notre Dame, and Texas will play three more. Will weak schedules hurt Georgia and Michigan? I caution everybody to draw conclusions right now based on where teams are ranked. There have been so many examples of teams that are ranked high right now, lose two in a row. And next thing you know, they free fall and plummet out of the top 25. And then conversely, there are plenty of teams that came out of the gates really poorly. Now they're getting hot and you play them at the end of November. And next thing you know, that team's ranked in the top 18, but actually they're playing more like a top team that's in the top seven or eight. So just be careful with the rankings. Kind of look at the whole body of work. And with Georgia and Michigan, it's really not so much about the competition because those two teams right now are the best in college football, I think, based on commodities, based on quality of play, based on talent level. Those two teams are kind of at the top. So I'm going to be watching not based on how they play against their competition, but how they play to the standard that I now expect from them. I think you can probably add Texas to that group. I think you can add Ohio State to that group. We're not gauging Ohio State by how they perform against quality competition. We're gauging Ohio State based on how Ohio State is capable of playing. So we'll assess, we'll evaluate, at least on our show. We're going to try not to draw crazy conclusions based on the amount of ranked teams you beat, but more based on how you played against teams that aren't ranked or ranked, depending on exactly how difficult your schedule is. So by the way, after you beat a team, you need to root for that team because it could strengthen your schedule down the road. I know that's a real backwards way of thinking, but for instance, Texas, you need to be rooting for Alabama. Rooting for Alabama the rest of the way. Totally backwards, I get it. Miami, you need to be rooting for Texas A&M the rest of the way. Utah, you need to be rooting for Florida the rest of the way, and Baylor for that matter, the rest of the way. Oregon, you need to be rooting for Texas Tech. If the teams you beat, especially in the non-conference, you need to root for them because that's only going to benefit your resume down the road.